Hello there, the Fable Darpuna here again for another great baggy hand with another long sword. Right now you can see I'm equipped with the Iron Gospel, but as in the previous episode, I'm gonna upgrade this. So let's head to the smithy. Armor wise, it's the same setup as in the previous episode. You can see here, have the critical eye plus two, and none of the other skills are of any particular use. I still have the cold resistant talisman, but I'm lacking slots to activate the cold resistance. So let's see what we have here. If we go to upgrade the uh, iron gospel, we see we have two choices. Depending if you have light crystals or usisium that you can get from the tundra, as well as large bones from the quest of the Barath, you can go for either side. You have a lightning based weapon. Chainsaw, by the looks of it. Nice upgrade. Green bar doesn't go up for by too much, but you do have extra damage, and there's some elemental bonus damage. I think the Great Bag does take some damage from the Lightning, not too much. It's not particularly vulnerable to that one either, I believe. I could be, I could be mistaken. That's one option, and the other one is the Ruggy Sword, used by with Ruggy Parts. Pretty much the same upgrade and a uh, raw attack. Different kind of sharpness. I'm not sure if it loses a bit of green sharpness actually. Gains in yellow but loses in green. As the advantage at this one has a slot so I could actually gem in the cold resistance. And comes with a poison status. 200 of it. So it's not a bad weapon versus the great baggy. But right now I'm going to use the chain slaughter. Now, rather than that upgrade, I'm actually going to forge it directly. This is one of the weapons you can actually forge straight on. The difference here is a uh, bit on the cost of materials. You can see that the forging straight to the chain slaughter cost me two light crystals compared to the one in the upgrade. So we come here, let's see all the cost. Be iron ores, which I have plenty of, one light crystal and eight thunder bugs. But the forging will cost me pretty much double in most of the necessities I need twice the light crystals, two of them, and it's a bit rare right now to get I don't use iron but I actually use mucalite so that's a nasty trade-off in reality compared if I since I have more iron than mucalite right now and it's not, not exactly double but still a lot more thunderbugs however uh, since I'll probably be gathering a lot of these anyway and I think it's cheaper in the long run to go to forge directly the weapon. It would be interesting to see a comparison of the costs somewhere on the website. The cover Monster Hunter. How much it costs if you go, if you follow the branch from the base weapon, in this case the Iron Katana, after train slaughter and directly forging it. The cost in Zenny and the cost in the materials. Obviously, the Zen is just the forge, forging of the chain slaughter, the chain slaughter, sorry will be just nearly 11,000 seconds any, while the upgrade will cost the sum of each weapon and upgrades plus the materials, so it will be interesting to see that. Now I'm going to just forge it straight on. And I just realised I can do the same with the rugby sword. Oh well, might do that, might not don't have enough light crystals for that and I do have the iron gospel to upgrade and, uh, and I don't need to really purchase it so if we sort this out yeah so if I want to upgrade the iron gospel since it doesn't have any other uh, third forms I'll probably re upgrade to the ruggy sword rather than force the ruggy sword directly Let's see what other future weapons we have here. Ooh, nice one. Okay. This one has the appearance more of a great sword than a long sword to me, because of the size of it. But it's a long sword, long sword nonetheless. Okay, got antidote herbs for cha cha to process. Let's eat! 
Okay, looks like. Well, let's see. But what do we have here? Any Insomniac? Didn't really need it last time. Only used one. Yeah, let's go for this. Yes, I said I only needed one energy drink. Got hit once by it. Well, I did get lucky a couple of times as they completely missed their shots. So let's go and hunt another great baggy. This should be quick enough. Compared to the Azure uh, Naginata Plus, which didn't come with uh, any elemental extra damage, this should be slightly faster. And collecting dose. Hot drinks. You get two from the box. I have a third one that was spare from the last quest. Should get them. Should be done with this one in the same amount of time. So we're going to dash straight to seven. And pretty much last time we didn't even leave seven. The fight started there and it ended there without going anywhere else. Okay, the sword actually has sounds, chainsaw sounds, and it's actually moving. Interesting. I wonder what kind of sound it will do. It's a bit of a noisy weapon. Okay, that enraged him. Or her. Sometimes it's a bit of a waste of time and resources to drink one because you're pretty much going to get hit. something sourced it. One thing you can do while doing combos with a long sword is that with the analog stick, you can redirect, sorry, redirect the attack angle slightly. So if you push into the right, your character will turn slightly to the right while doing each hit. So you can correct attacks as you're doing them. Get a lot of damage here, actually. Maybe I'm just overdoing the spirit combo. And there goes Sharpness. Let's try to get out of here. Good. That's a complete mess. Ah, I 
heard the animation going on, but since I did the fade attack, I can do much about it. That was really fast. 30 seconds away from the 5 minute mark. No, nope, I did say it was going to be faster. I didn't really expect to do it under the 5 minute mark. I was expecting to go a bit over it. Any good stones to mine from? Doesn't look like it. So we mine from whatever is available. It's a shame that these rocks are so far apart. If they were next to each other or nearby, you could actually mine them all before time's up. A quest. Oh, I just, ooh, mystery charm. Maybe we get something good from that. Oh, at least something decent. Oh yeah, I didn't break the crest. So this might be not might not be the best weapon for that because you just do too much damage. So you need to focus on the head. Let's see, well, at least I've got a sleep sack. That's another somewhat rare item from the baggy. Not great baggy. That rare, really. Oh, yes, regular bones, no husks. I really need to use these up. We've got nearly 900 of them. Exhaust coating plus six points. I'll send it to the box and deal with it later. So, this has been the Fabled Harpuna, hunting uh, another great baggy with the... Uh, what's the name of this weapon again? The Chain Slaughter. Yeah. Okay, see you next time, and good hunting.